actually the head of the Deutsche Bahn, the train company, earns more than the chancellor of Germany and the train is a public company so it's absolutely crazy what they are doing with our money at the top wages but none of the actual workers that are making sure that the trains run every day that are getting up at 6 a.m to get into the train to make sure people can get to work they are getting none of the money in germany workers in the transport sector joined a massive strike action on monday march 27th with demonstrations held in several cities this was the largest walk-off in around three decades according to the trade union Verdi. Workers are protesting the fall in real wages and demanding a fair increase in wages to combat inflation. The call for the strike was given by Verdi and the Rail and Transport Union. It was time to coincide with the third round of negotiations between municipal and federal employers and unions taking place in Potsdam on the same day. No agreement could be reached in these negotiations. So it was a strike from two labor unions together uh, because they both are negotiating for higher wages right now. Uh, they both have members in the transportation sector, different parts. The one labor union has more buses and trams and uh, what whatnot, and the other one has all the trains and the wider public transportation. Yeah, so um, all the all the tran- public transportation was uh, put to a stop last Monday or this Monday. Um, so most people couldn't really get to work or whatnot. So we really shut the whole country down. There was um, nothing really going on in the city itself where we were having our rally, our strike rally. It was very empty. All the stores were closed. Nobody was in town. It was like uh, Frankfurt was where I was. It was usually a very busy city. It was completely silent. There was nobody there um, because of our strike. So it had a huge effect on the whole country. It has been reported that the industrial action by workers is supported by 55% of the population. Workers have been protesting for over a year, demanding a rise in their wages to combat the cost of living crisis. However, unions allege that the federal government, led by Chancellor Olaf Scholz, has been prioritizing the war efforts in Ukraine rather than seeing to the workers' demands. German left party Die Link stated that, according to a recent survey, the majority of Germans understand the labor struggle of Worthy and EVG, no surprise, because inflation and falling real wages have long arrived at the center of society. We won't let ourselves be divided. Well, um, the labor unions in Germany actually don't really have such a strong history of striking lately. In the last, the, my labor union striked last in 2018 for about three hours. That was it. Uh, the last proper strike was, I think, in the 90s, actually. So striking for us is a huge deal. Um it, well, mainly because of the inflation that has been about 11% on all products, but 20 30, till 30% for essential products like um, food, whatnot, clothing, gas, electricity. So um, all the workers have been suffering a lot here and have been having issues um, buying food or getting to work Um so our requests were a 12% wage increase, but at least 650 euros. That means so the the lower income groups that wouldn't get much with 12%, if they would get, I don't know, 200 euros with 12%, we said, okay, they need to get uh, a severe increase um, of the wages. So 650 euros at least. And then the upper the upper wage groups, they still shouldn't should get above inflation. So that was our request. The other labor union requested 10% and at least 500 euros. And yeah, so the state really didn't like our request. They said we are being um, irrational and whatnot. The Deutsche Bahn, the company, the train company in Germany, they said, yeah, no, that, that's never going to happen. They, they offered about 5% within 27 months and in two steps so that in a few months we would get like two percent and the next year we get the three percent more so that's five percent which was absolutely humiliating and at the same time they gave their top managers 14 percent wage increase which is just absolutely not okay when they're telling us that our 
requests are irrational. Actually, the head of the Deutsche Bahn, the train company, earns more than the chancellor of Germany, and the train is a public company, so it's absolutely crazy what they are doing with our money at the top wages, but none of the actual workers that are making sure that the trains run every day, that are getting up at 6 a.m. to get into the train to make sure people can get to work, they are getting none of the money. Um. Yeah, so we were all very furious and our labor union finally decided, okay, we need to definitely strike. And this is probably not going to be the last strike in this um these negotiations. We are probably going to strike in the next months again. 